Hello everyone, how's it going? We are back with some more Resident Evil Village. So, in the last part, we were slaying, absolutely slaying everything with Chris Redfield. And then Ethan decides to come back from the dead, and it looks like he is now ready to take on Mother Miranda and hopefully rescue his baby daughter, Rose. So, wish me luck. Let's go. I gotta go. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Turns out I am... I guess invincible? I don't know. Let's stock up. As you wish. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Let, let's power up, shall we? Let's power up. So I'm going to... What's this? Let's get this, why not? You'll be slaughtering things in droves. Please, be well. Thanks. I'm, I'm coming back. <laughs> Do be sure you're prepared. Well, that's why I'm here, Juki. Right. Let's stock up on ammo. An interesting selection. Yes, I can... Your journey nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? I agree. 65k. I've got, ooh. 234,000. Wow. Give me... Oh god, actually... Hmm. Thank you for your purchase. Just, I'll just buy one. <laughs> Choose one. Okay. Your life, please. Be well. Do you have sufficient weapons and items? Delighted to. Right, let's try it. It was truly a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. This shotgun is a lot more powerful. So I'll put it there. OK. 
Okay. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> this, yeah. There we go. Oh, that chest is gone. <laughs> the one I've always been trying to open. Time for this. Let's go, let's go. I gotta keep going. Ah, oh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Let's do this, let's do this. Here I come. Oh, I should, have, I should have prepared for that. Please, Mr. Winters. Where are you? I shall finish this. Okay. I hit here by chance. <laughs> Don't resist. You understand the level of parent and child. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? Move, Ethan. Move, Ethan. Move, Ethan. You won't be defeated. Your time is up. Now die. Yeah, I'm gonna snipe you. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to snug it. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, reload, damn it. I've never seen a human live without sparks. Are you sure you're not? I'm out. Damn it. Um. Uh. This is... Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, wow, okay. I shall put you to rest. So I could do. You won't be taking. You're so maneuverable. Time is up. Now die. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh my... The mega my seat saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power! Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is that? <laughs> oh god. Damn. Hold still. <laughs> Do I have to shoot you? Do I have to shoot you? No. Die. Oh, not again. <laughs> uh, just keep running. Make this all work. <sighs> oh, my God. After all, everyone oh, dies. Oh my god. I'm trying to... <laughs> no. I think I got... I think I dodged him. I think I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Visually, this boss spell is stunning. <laughs> oh, I hurt her, Die. I hurt her then. You swallowed into the mega my seat for all time. <laughs> I felt I could have done better there. <laughs> I cannot... What? What? I cannot see anything. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, rest now. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. I will take back my daughter! <laughs> die, 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 die. If I combine Rose with a mega my daughter will be made manifest at last! Are oh, you doing that move? Okay. A century! All of the mistake! Why do you persist in this? Oh, oh surely, surely. Why do you interfere? Surely! Need now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. It's gone back to spider mode. I will not him or anyone else One more sniper bullet. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I got a headshot. I got a headshot. Oh, I'm going to use this now. <laughs> no. Oh.
Okay, okay, okay. I shall put you to rest. The villagers, those foreigners, they could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Oh, come on. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. <laughs> okay, okay. Dodge that. I will see my hopes for them. I must. So maneuverable. You won't interfere. I've got a shotgun. This is. Your time is up. Now die. Got no sniper bullets. You still. Okay. 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 <laughs> My wish will come. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Cease this foolishness. <laughs> Curse this rat. Damn it, I am. Oh, my God. Oh, she's still able to hit me with one. This is surely. Why won't you die? I'm going to ask you the same question. Cease. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. 
Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> And you tell yourself, now oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Take us up now! What's going on? Where? What was that? I told you to sit down. Where is he? Chris? What have you done? He's gone! so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay.
Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Well, that is it for Resident Evil Village. What a journey it has been. So, what are my thoughts on the game? One thing I mentioned in part one was the direction in which Resident Evil games are heading at the moment. The campaign itself has a supernatural backdrop to it, from the aggressive and unrelenting lichens to the vampiric blood-sucking women that you meet in an extravagant yet gothic themed castle, and the fact that it is also set in a Transylvania-like setting, it definitely does have supernatural undertones. Lately I have missed playing a supernatural horror like game which makes me overjoyed to see Resident Evil use supernatural elements in the campaign. The level design in Resident Evil Village is very good. How all of the four Lords areas are connected to the one single point, the point being the village itself, is very well constructed. One thing I like about the Four Lords areas was how I had to work out how to play each area differently. For example, in Lady Dimitres Castle, I had to be more stealth-like. Beneviento's house had a real puzzle element to it. Moreau's swamp kept me on my toes as I had to avoid him crushing me as I crossed the swamp. And Heisenberg's factory, I pretty much went all out aggressive as I was being attacked by his deadly creations. Each area was different and pretty awesome to play. The combat is worth mentioning as you face a variety of enemies in the Resident Evil Village. You have winged goblins, agile lichens, Heisenberg's heavily armored creations, etc. Each one definitely requires a different playstyle, that's for sure. Also, another thing I enjoyed was in certain areas, hordes of enemies will attack you and the environment can help the player take down these enemies. One of which is the zipline, which definitely came in handy when I was attacked by lichens in their den. The story itself is very interesting as it definitely has ties with the whole Resident Evil universe and I like how it references certain moments in the previous title, Resident Evil Biohazard. The voice acting is very well done and the dialogue definitely matches the character's personality. What is interesting as well is that the antagonists, i.e. the Four Lords and Mother Miranda, are more theatrical in their performance, whereas the antagonists in Resident Evil Biohazard are more subdued. I really enjoyed these performances, especially during the cutscenes, as it definitely fitted in with the whole gothic theme. Graphics in Resident Evil Village are extremely detailed and visually impressive. The architecture alone is absolutely amazing. My favourite area to explore was Castle Dimitres. There were areas lit up by ambient lighting, some parts of the castle were gloomy, and there was even a wine cellar with a bloody floor which enemies would hide under in order to ambush you. The character design is very well thought through as it definitely reflects their personalities. For example, Lady Dimitres has a rather dominant personality, so making her very tall actually made sense. The way in which sound is used is extremely cool and in certain moments very well timed. I remember heading to the village for the first time through a forest and just hearing the odd growl now and again. Definitely kept me on edge that's for sure. I also like the music playing in the background as you slayed out with Chris Redfield in the village. It just made me want to keep going and going and going. Very well done. Overall Resident Evil Village was amazing to play. As I mentioned earlier, I do like the direction Resident Evil games are heading at the moment and I'm very much looking forward to future titles. So everyone, that is it for today. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you enjoy the content I provide, then by all means, hit the subscribe button. Take care of yourselves and I will see you again real soon.
think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a cure. I think it does. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. <laughs>